Hi there, it's Louise with you of Timeless Craft Mama and today's scrapbook layout share is for Scrapbook Boutique. I've created this layout which I've titled Be Happy and I'm going to show you some of the really great new products available in the store. First up is this Lively Geo's 12 by 12 paper pad and honestly this appealed to me straight away. Not only because of the turquoise colours but just the patterns and I think this was would work really well um, for any kind of page so what I'm doing first of all is just taking some of the pattern papers from that collection including one that I'm going to use as my backing paper and then I'm going to make um, a cluster around this really sweet photo of Master Zed and myself so that's going to form the basis of this layout now as with some of my scrapping projects, there really was no plan going into this. So I chose to let the um, collection inspire me. Now, through some of my layers, I am also adding some cardboard and the cardboard has helped to give it dimension and just lift those layers off of each other. So you can do this in a number of ways. I choose to use cardboard more often than any other um, method, but another good way is also to ink in black around the edges of those layers. So if you want some of them just to be a little bit more elevated from the cluster, then definitely um, either mount them with some foam tape, or in my case, I like to use cardboard and um, add a little bit of ink around the edges too. Now, one of my other favorite ways that I like to get uh, dimension or extra um, interest in a cluster is through the use of a banner. So I've made up a quick little banner and um, that will just um, help get rid of some of the squareness of that um, cluster. So I've got the doily in there as well which really helps, um, it gives it that circular element and because it's so detailed it doesn't necessarily blend into all those really awesome paper layers. So now that I've got my cluster I'm sort of looking around and thinking what am I going to do next and I decide that I'm going to add just a little bit of mixed media to the background. So paper tearing is probably my go-to technique at the moment and I've torn a large 12 by strip in that turquoise for the background and I'm going to use this Tim Holtz stencil and the Color Blast Paste in Envy. So once that's dried naturally off camera, I'm having another little look around, I'm thinking what do I do, where am I going with this page, I'm still not quite decided on how it's going to look but I do feel like it needs something at the bottom here. So I'm just repeating the same process, again, letting it dry naturally. You can see on the video the difference in the colors. And then uh, having bought this collection from Scrapbook Boutique, I um, also picked up some of the Prima Zella Teal flowers as well. And that really suits not only the colors of this particular collection, but that paste that I've applied in the background. Now the sticker sheets as well, you'll find a link to them either on the blog or the YouTube. Um, I saw these straight away and thought that they would be great for pages. Now they would also work really well if you were a card maker, but for me I think that they're a really quick and easy way to add quite an interesting title to a page. So I've added simply the Be Happy and because I've put that title to the right hand side of my paper cluster I felt like I needed something in that top left of the paper cluster so I've got my central element in the bottom and I've got that title to the right and you'll see as the video progresses that I am actually going to add just a little bit more of the rug mesh and another of those prima flowers in a slightly different teal color um, plus a frame and some of a few of the other little stickers to round out this page. So I have been doing a lot of teal layouts lately and it's not um, like a, a choice that I've made, it's purely just is, is what's appealing to me at the time. So whether it be turquoise, aqua, teal, doesn't matter. It seems to be the way I'm creating at the moment and this particular collection just worked perfectly for that. So I really hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget to check out Scrapbook Boutique and of course subscribe to my YouTube. Thanks for watching.